Today, I'm tying a Blue Wing Olive Emerger that I call Latex and Lace. Trout love it. You're going to love it too. Head, shoulder, nose and tail, <laughs> nose and tail. Hey everybody, welcome to Familiar Waters and FWFishing.com. I'm Mike Pulaski. Today, we are talking emergers. When dry flies are out, trout are on them. I love throwing emergers. It's my first go-to bug. And today, I'm going to show you one that I call latex and lace. It's different in the fact that it uses some different materials, and it helps the nymph section of the emerger stay below that surface film while the top rides high and dry. That's what you're looking for. It's two separate life stages that you're trying to simulate while you're shooting for emergers. And so today, latex and lace, we're tying it in bluing olive, but we can tie it for PMDs. We can tie it for March Browns. You can tie it essentially for any mayfly hatch. Before we start, don't forget, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. We'd love to hear from you. Now let's hit the vise. So the latex and lace tied on a Dairiki number 135, uh, size 16 here. This is one extra strong, one extra short. So it's really like tying a size 18 for this bug, which fits right in that blue wing olive family and category. For thread, I'm using Uni 8 aught. Um, just like it, been tying with it for years. You can use your thread of choice. I'm using olive here. Uh, if your betas are more brown when they're nymphs near you, feel free to use that. So wrap back. Remember the key when tying an emerger is you're really tying two different phases of the bug's life. You're tying the nymph phase, which is going to hang underneath the film, and you're also tying the adult or done phase as it's hatching out of the shell. And so you got to think about both those while you're tying these emergers. emergers. So for the tail, I'm going to use Coke de Leon because it's a fantastic tail fiber. And I'm going to get, you know, three, four of them, something that suggests nymphiness because that's what I'm tying on the bottom. And so a couple wraps, secure it in place, and then get that tail to length. I want it to be about the length of the body. And then wrap that in. Okay, lock it back. Next, next, and here is where the latex piece comes in. Let me snip this off and clean it up. I am going to use, it's actually vinyl, but latex and lace sounded way sexier than vinyl and lace. Vinyl rib. This says small. I'm not sure that was the right one. You want the smallest vinyl rib you can find. So a little bitty vinyl rib like this because we're doing a mayfly body with it. There is a rounded side to it and a flat side. You want the flats or the rounded side out, flat side against the hook. And when you tie it in initially, don't put much tension on it and lock it down. And then as you move back down the hook, start to pull on it a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll stretch it and make it thinner and thinner and so you'll build in an automatic taper for this bug's body as you tie in that initial vinyl rib. Make sure those tails are clean and then wrap back up. Then start the wrap with the vinyl rib putting tension on it to start keeping it thin and then as you move forward up the hook, kind of reduce that tension that you have on it so that it can start to expand out and become bigger. And you'll see it'll build out that taper naturally on its own. There we go. Lock that off. And so, you know, normally when we tie dry flies, we want them to be really light so that they... Normally when we tie dry flies, we want them to be super light so that they ride on top of that surface film. But these are emergers, so we want them to penetrate the surface film. So that vinyl is nice because it's pretty clean and slick, so it'll go through that film. Uh, and it's a little bit heavier, so it'll also pop through that film. 
For the wing, here is where the lace part comes in. We are going to use CDC. Love CDC in my dry flies, especially in my emerger patterns, uh, because it does a great job of keeping the top of a fly buoyant. It doesn't weigh it down, doesn't tip it over, uh, but makes for a super sexy bug. And so I'm going to put three of them together here, cut the tips out. Line them on the fly and give them a couple wraps to get them in position and then pull them to size. Now you can make this a little bigger because these are going to be look like the wings. And so you can make it a little bit longer than kind of the, the store-bought stuff because they, they tend to shorten that for materials conservation and whatever else. But the wings, as this thing's coming out, are pretty long. So you can make it pretty long. And then take that front, wrap it in, tilt it up. We're going to take EP trigger fibers. And we're going to put that in the middle as a post. To help keep this thing solid. And to give us a little white. So since it's so dark, it might be hard to pick up on the surface. But... If we put them both in together as a post, you're good and clean. Now, trim this these EP fibers because they will get unruly on you in a hurry. To about the length of what you have on that front feathers on the CDC. And then pull all this together up top and post it up. My dog going crazy in here while I'm tying. And so, a couple post wraps. It's all nice and clean together because we're going to put a hackle on this as well. So there you go. And if you keep that length, that's going to help you when you decide to wrap that hackle so that you can hold on to it and wrap that hackle around the bottom. Next, you're going to grab a done hackle. You can get this in a 14, 16. You know, 18 in that range because these things are super leggy. When you look at them emerging, they got a lot of legs going everywhere. And so, this is about a 15, I'd say, for the hackle. Prepare it, clip it. One wrap in front, one behind, back in front to lock it down. That hackle shouldn't go anywhere. Okay. Next up, I'm going to dub the thorax on this thing. Remember, it's a nymph underneath. It's a dry on top. And so I want some legs sticking off this. I don't want this to be a super tight dubbing noodle. And so I'm going to mix in a little brown, a little uh, olive to kind of get that really cool earthy blend. You don't need to worry about a taper because we're just working on the thorax here. Get that tight. Make one wrap around. Then you should be able to lock it in some. A couple wraps here to build up that thorax a little bit. Pull that off, and then you can trim that excess. Whatever dubbing, you're not using that body, just trim it. And wrap back to the base of that post. So remember, you don't want to crowd the eye on this bug, but when you look at pictures, and I'll try to put one up for you, of these betas emerging, they do crawl out the front of this husk a lot. So they look like they're very weight forward as they're coming up. So I'm just going to use my nail and push that back a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my hackle plier. Kind of hold all this steady. Wrap a little parachute hackle on it. Three turns ought to be plenty.
Just lock that in. Turn your hackle. And I like to throw a half hitch on it just to save my work at that point. Once I've done that, I can get rid of a lot of this excess stuff here. So first, the excess CDC. If you trim that in the front, you can make it look like the thorax sticking up out there. And then the trigger fibers. And you can see you got a nice little body effect here. It looks like the the thorax or the head coming out up front, wings coming back a little bit, and so it gives that impression. Any fish looking up is going to see this dark shape coming out of this nymph body, and that's what you want for that emerger look. Next, you just whip finish this. Pull everything back. trim it off those ep fibers can get a little unruly so pull some out or trim off whatever it is kind of inspect your bug look at it but so that gives you a good look at how you get the nymph body down here it looks like a, a nymph and you can even if you want to take a little dubbing brush down here and brush it out to get some kind of that leggy look because underneath the water this nymph still has all of its legs so give yourself some legs down low and the hackle looks like the legs coming off the done as it emerges but it's a great little bug that latex or the vinyl helps it penetrate that surface meniscus looks like the nymph underneath looks like the done up top exactly what an emerger does and the trout seem to love it so it's a fantastic bug i keep a bunch in my box uh, and when the trout are eating dries one of my first go-to's is an emerger and so the latex and lace is one of my favorite emergers for bluing all of hatches.